What's up y'all, Hollow Point here, another video with Tactical Survival, today's video is all about stands. Alright y'all asked me about stands, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about stands. Uh, an aggressive stance is basically the best stance, which uh, basically is uh, if you're right handed, left foot goes in front, arms extended, lock elbows, uh, push forward, okay? That's an aggressive stance. Uh, there's other stands like uh, just standing. Uh, it's called the weaver stance. Uh, basically, is both feet side to side and you just point, shoot. Uh, some of you guys like uh, one-handed shooting and stuff like that, which is fine. Uh, either way, uh, most time when somebody kick your door in, they see the firearm, they're out the door. Uh, but if they do approach you, um, I have tips and tricks that I can go ahead and show you if you like. If you are scared to shoot somebody. Uh, if you get nervous, your adrenaline is pumping. Some people have, uh, some people freeze. Uh, uh, try not to uh, freeze. That's the worst thing you can do is freeze because you just don't know what's going to go on. It's like a tunnel vision type, and everything goes blank. Uh, of course, your adrenaline is pumping. Just letting you know, the guy that kicks your door in, his adrenaline been pumping way before yours, so he's already uh, he's ready. So. So basically, yeah, that's that's it, man. Just aggressive stance. You you do an aggressive stance, and you go ahead and uh, eliminate the threat uh, if you have to. Uh, like I said, if you turn around and run off, uh, the threat is gone. That's what you want. Uh, yeah, aggressive stance. That's it, man. Uh, just practice that. If you practice that, practice, practice, practice. Go out to the shooter range. I recommend at least once a week. Shoot your gun so you know your gun. People that buy guns and leave their guns in the closet or in the safe for uh, a year and that year, the end of that year, somebody kicks your door in, you don't know what to do. You forget about your gun because it's just been sitting there. So practice with your firearms at all times. At least I recommend at least once a week. Once a week is good. Uh, if you could do more, if you have time to go to your local gun range and go ahead and do more or like go out in the woods. Uh, if you got four by four, Grab your guns, grab some friends, and go out shooting for a while and stuff like that. That's what I do. All right, welcome back, guys. Safety check, of course. Um, I just want to talk about uh, what do I want to talk about? Shit, I don't know what you're doing today. Uh, yeah, chill. All right, well, I'm about to go to lunch right now because. Uh, Maybe that's why I'm not doing these videos right. Jeez, man, cut. I'm going to lunch. Uh, the threat is gone. That's what you want. Uh, most times, uh, most times when if you kick my door in, there's bullets gonna be flying. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, baby. Okay, so when you change your stance, uh, you want to change your voice. So changing your stance, changing your voice, more manly. And uh, basically, you probably get a better better reaction uh, if they do go towards you. You better pull the trigger. But if you want to change your voice, if you got a, a, a changeable voice and you could do impressions and stuff like I can, uh, check this one out. Do it! Come on, kill me! I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Kill me! Oh. <laughs> man, I'm out. I think I'm done with these video stuff, man. I'm just gonna relax. Today is Sunday. I should be uh, sleeping right now, right?